the experiment that we want to, we will use is what is called as uh, so this is our easy lab so if we want to do the corrosion analysis so this is under the electrochemical electrification so you can see corrosion and then a lot of method a lot of uh, yeah a lot of methods and then we select this method linear polarization resistance and then you click ok okay so uh method we see there, uh, there are three like there are there are three uh menu in here so the the corrosion main the corrosion experiment the uh, the ma the main menu of uh, corrosion experiment will be in number three this is the this is the menu that will be under the menu number three ocv in here so this will be five minutes and then after that we just move to uh, number three and then that will be in here so this is for uh for the data recording so we, we when we click that we can see we can record the data in two two ways like we can record we can record the current or we can record the uh time the time so one second in here move in here because we need this as well but make sure we already change this to one second because we need that we need we need to change somewhere uh we need to change the number in here the scan rate so this is millivolt per minute we change that to millivolt per second and then one second okay here zero point six to zero and reference so it we change this to reference after we feel that one second we need to move to here again because we need to change change that to 50 and five it will that will be in here so since we have from negative to five 2.5 to 2.5 so we will select this photo and then this will be five and then we just hit the run and then that's it for the setting but now we move to the it's not that uh it's not that long to run this experiment we just hit run and then we wait until the experiment is done uh and then maybe because we see in here we have uh 0 0.6 volt to 0 volt that means 600 millivolt and then the scan rate is one millivolt per second so it means that we need like 600 seconds or or 10 minutes to finish this experiment and then we load the result so So the result, as usual, we just plot that uh, uh, the way the, the way that we want. But in in this case, I will plot that I will plot the like uh, the common the common plot in uh, easy lab voltage against the current, and then so this is how the graph looks. Uh, and then let's see the result and then now this is this is the menu of uh, that that analysis for corrosion so corrosion and then tafel and rp so we have to tafel and rp so let me uh, start with tafel and then then the screen will, will appear and then i just select the data then i calculate let's see so as you can see 
the grab the the screen automatically change to lock eye against the fall page so previously it's a uh, voltage against the eye but automatically because we uh we run this uh we run this uh analysis tuffle tuffle analysis and it, it automatically changed to that so you already see this uh graph previously but uh slightly different because what we see previously in the presentation is the voltage is in the y-axis and the uh and the current the log of the of current is in the uh x-axis so it's kind of uh 190 degree rotate 90 degree rotate but that doesn't matter what matter is we need to analyze this uh graph and what we need to find is this you can see this is the uh the tangents and then this is the intercept and this is the current the the current of uh the Russian reaction and then we need to move this so you can see that the blue the blue line is uh or original data and the red line is from the table the table feed but we need to so is uh so the, the the software automatically uh generate this uh this uh red graph right uh, and then what we want to do is to move this red graph to the blue uh this, this blue line so because so so this kind of uh so we will make that to we will make the two graph uh, like uh, over overlap, so it means that our feed is fit to the original original data. So this is from the uh, the software. So this and this is the original data, and then we want to fit what the software generate to our original data. So what we uh, uh, the way to do that is just we just move the this one so. As you can see, when I move this, the graph like change. The graph some somehow change, and then if I if I move this, the graph like kind of move to the light the uh the land the red line, kind of move to the the right. So I just I need to move that to. I need to move. I move it again. Yeah, so like this, so we can see that these two graphs kind of overlapping each other. So, so we, so this is our final, uh, so this is our final result of the current that we want to do, that we want to uh, find. So the current, the I corrosion is this one, uh, 7.7, .7, micro amp so this is our current and then uh iron is uh, uh, 55 gram per mole so if the reaction is uh if if the iron uh, if the iron is fa2 plus so it it uh, it means that we we need to divide that uh, 50 55 to 2 so it will be uh 27, 27, let's see, yeah, around 27 uh, gram equivalent, and then the density of iron is uh, 7.8 gram per centimeter cubic, and then let's assume that uh, oh, one centimeter square, so like, when then we get the result in here, so the corrosion rate is 0 0.08 millimeter per year, so this is how we do the table feed. Now we move to RP feed. So I close this, and then, and then I will remove this uh, table feed because we already done with that. So this is the table MPP. So I will 
just remove that because I want just want to see our original data. So remove, and then okay. So it returned to our uh, previous uh, or original plot uh, uh, between I and EWE. So now we want to do the correlation analysis with, with RPV. So this is the RP uh, feed screen, and then I just select the data. What what important in RP feed is you should select uh, we should select the data that uh, cross the zero current. So the data this 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 data should be selected. So let's see if I don't select uh, this data. Artifit. Let's see if I select this data that doesn't have zero current, and then I calculate. It cannot be done because what in, what important in RPFit we should we should uh, aim for this zero for uh, yeah, zero for uh, zero current be, uh, as already explained in the in the lecture as well. So we select the data in here. And then we calculate. So now we already that's it. It's very simple with RP feed. We got the I core now, and then we just put this number for that's for lab number five. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not that difficult. It's it's very simple and yeah, that's it uh, for my presentation today.